Welcome to Cool Outdoors. Today, I'm going to teach you guys the differences that pros make over the amateurs. And I'm going to show you guys the little tweaks that you can make in your game today to make you more competitive and to make you a better tournament angler. So please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So let's get going with the video. Okay guys, let's have some serious discussions. If you want to get off the small circuit trails and get on larger trails, you need to change some things you're doing. The weekend anglers don't make the bright changes to the game to become better fishermen. The first thing you guys need to realize is the pros don't really make big tweaks to their lures. They'll make tiny, small ones, like changing the rings and changing the uh, hooks out on the on their baits just because they want to put a higher quality tools on there but yeah remember there's people who are paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to design these baits and then they're gonna they're gonna make them as perfect as they can you might want to uh, tune in your crankbaits make a run left to right and those are your shallow ones but for the most part leave your baits alone change the hooks and the rings one thing that, uh, one difference between a pro and an amateur is the amount of time that they invest in prepping for a tournament. I know when I was fishing tournaments, I would take a lot of time, or every single time for a tournament. I would go in and I would I'd do map studies. I'd, and if it was a lake I didn't know, I definitely took a map and I'd pull up any fishing report I could find. Even old ones, ones that were a year and a half, two years old, would give me an idea of where the fish were in the lake. So that is I do my homework. Do your homework and you will catch more fish. And I think that separates the pros from the amateurs is they are able to fish fast and cover the water extremely fast while being thorough. This is a hard thing to learn and in order to do this you need to be on the water as much as possible. The more time you're on the water the faster you're going to fish and the more efficiently you're going to fish. So you're going to learn little tricks in, of the train and how to do it. I can only teach you so much sitting in this chair. The best teacher is, is yourself. And get out there on the water and learn. Pay attention to the fish. Pay attention to where they are. Pay attention to how they set up. Pay attention to everything. And, and remember, you can fish a lot faster in 70 degree water than 30 degree water. So fast is a relative term, but and remember, skill is a relative term. Confidence makes skill, skill makes confidence. So, now as I have said, in order to become the best fisherman possible, you need to spend time on the water. Practice makes perfect. Get out on the water today. Practice the skills I have taught you in this course. Not just today, all my other videos. And you will catch a lot more fish and will be a lot more competitive this season. So, I hope this has helped you a little bit today. I am a host of Cole Outdoors, Derek Cole. Until next time, later!